Hi again and welcome back to We Have A Voice. So first of all I'd like to wish all all of my Jewish friends a happy, a happy and I'm <laughs> dropping the apple and this was meant to be a lot smoother. A happy and sweet new year, shit out of us. <laughs> so this video is going to be it's going to be about what you should definitely not say if you're talking to to someone who stammers. Number one, don't guess what they will say. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm really good. How, how are you? I'm really good, thanks. What did you do today? Well, well, I had so, I had a really lovely time ago. Going, to, you went to the shops. You went to the supermarket. <coughs> you went to the restaurant. No, uh, went to Bazzi Castle Place, obviously. No, I, Every time. So yeah, this gets really annoying. Please don't do this. We won't want to speak to you. Number two. Don't say that they've, that they've forgotten their name. Hi, I'm Katie. What's your name? Hi, hi, I'm... You've forgotten your name. Um... No, I have a stammer. So of course I understand that this is just like a little like light-hearted joke, but for those those those, those who are really suffering with their stammer could be <coughs> I could be really disheartened by this. Number three, please don't look away um out of awkwardness. Hi, hi, ha, 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 ha. How are you? Look, look, I understand, I get it. When you see something different, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. However, when you start acting awkward, it, it can make the person stammering a hundred times more, more uncomfortable than you are and also likely to make them stammer more. And number four, <laughs> don't smirk. Hey, so you're so, 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 so you know the other day, again, I understand you're probably trying is a nice thing because you're trying to trying to conceal your emotions, but trust me, we see it. <laughs> and um like, like because we see it, you know that that's it it can really make a stammerer feel like that much more ashamed of their stammer, less likely to want to speak to people because they don't want because they don't want to be laughed at. And it's just a downward spiral from that. So please try not to. Number five. Don't move on completely just because you're just because you're waiting for them to finish. So that was so funny, wasn't it? You know, do you remember? Do you remember what? Do you remember when? So, do you know that thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you about it. So, so with this, you know. So by moving on completely, you're basically telling that person that, that you weren't listening anyway and that, and that you're not bothered by what they're saying. And like, no, anyone would be annoyed at that, you know, like no one, no one wants to know that they're not being listened to. So when someone, someone who is stammering, it's like, it's, it's that much more, it's that much more hurtful. Because they're trying so much to get a word out and the other person's just like, you know, I can't be bothered, I'll just talk to someone else. And lastly, don't hurry them up. Hey, so, so like they seem, they're, they seem, come on, it seems like they've got a lot of time. Certain sounds that I, I struggle more, and, and I, 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 really, I, I really haven't got a lot of time. Like, trying to get someone to hurry up, I know that like, personally I need to speak at the speed, at the speed that I need to speak at so that I can be fluent. If anyone tries to hurry me up, I'm just gonna stammer. it. There's just like, it's just, it's, there's no way I'm gonna be fluent. And that's the same for most stammerers. Like no one, um, like to be able to, to make someone speak quicker than they can when they have a stammer just is, isn't helping anyone. So, so I hope, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'd also like to remind you, it's now, it's now three weeks until my sponsored walk. So please, please sponsor me. Bye, see you next week.